The Ergo 5. They're hypersonic. Seriously. All right. Well, I got my Ergo 5 just a little bit ago. I uh, had less than a month to kind of play around with them and work out some of the kinks uh, and get them functioning properly. So I figured I would do an initial impressions video just to give you guys an idea of uh, you know what they might be like if you decide to purchase them. And the first thing that I noticed straight away is just how tiny these are. Now I'm going to put some overlays on the screen because this is absolutely not going to do it any justice. But these things are remarkably small. And considering I have the Ergo Max, the Neo, the Neo Hi-Fi, and now these, um, these are definitely smaller. Uh, and you will see that for yourself if you actually decide to go to the website and take a look and order some of the demos. Now these are just kind of dummy ones, but the link on the screen will take you directly to the page for that. Uh, and that will give you a chance to see really how small they are and how they'll fit in your ears. Uh, compared to other devices. Oh, while you're there, don't forget to check out their hearing test as well, because not only is the fit important, it's whether or not this particular device is designed for you. Uh, and so I think it's critical that you both get the dummy units and do the hearing test so that you can make sure that you're within the appropriate range for these particular devices. Now, uh, my hearing is certainly not great. It's nowhere near great. I'm going to put my latest audiogram that was done by my audiologist on the screen, and you're going to see exactly how bad my hearing is and that these are more than sufficient for my particular hearing issues. The next thing I want to remark on is the case. The case has been redesigned, and it is actually smaller than the predecessors. And there's some really great enhancements that they've done to this case. Um, first and foremost, you have the regular lights to indicate the state of charge of each of the individual ergos, but you also have a light at the charging port on the bottom, which makes it easier for you to see uh, when you're plugging in a black case to a black cable, which is not always the easiest thing to do in low light. And typically people are putting these up uh, when they're going to sleep. So uh, that is absolutely a huge benefit to this case. The other thing that they did is they redesigned the interior of the case. And when you go to put the ear goes back in the case, you're going to open it up and you're going to notice that the lights light up so that you can actually see what you're doing. And then as you put your ear goes in the appropriate slots, they're just magnetic. There's no longer the metal connectors uh, to charge them that you kind of have to wiggle and play with a little bit. These just drop right in like maybe a pair of AirPods would. And because they're magnetic, they're going to stay in the case, even if you turn it upside down and shake it. So that's a huge benefit as well. The case does have Bluetooth, and there's also um, hypersonic technology that allows you to connect to the ergos themselves, which I'm about to get into. Now the app is where the hypersonic technology is built into. And there's a ton of things that this app does. And I plan to do a walkthrough of it, but you can adjust the volume uh, on both of the units at the same time. You can mute them. You can do either the left or the right. You can uh, go into noise filters and uh, adjust noise filtering uh, if you wish which it comes in handy in particularly loud environments or environments that are disruptive to your word recognition. Then, of course, there's programs. And programs uh, are really, really 
set up well in this particular app. Again, I'm going to go through a walkthrough of this in a separate video. Uh, but the thing that separates this app from the previous ones, in my opinion, is the sound match technology. And what that is, is the ability to actually do a hearing test using hypersonic technology, hypersonic sound. Now, what that is, essentially, is that when you want to make adjustments or you want to do a hearing test, the phone itself sends a hypersonic sound signal directly to the ear goes and the ear goes respond accordingly. Now, when you're doing the sound match, uh, which is the hearing test, essentially you're going to be able to go through and hear specific tones and it's going to dial in to your particular hearing. This is a monumental step for Ergo, because now you're not back and forth with the audiologist quite as much. Now, granted, I do recommend that you take advantage of the audiology services that Ergo provides with the units uh, as part of your purchase, but uh, this will get them dialed into your specific hearing. Uh, for me, the absolute advantage of this is that I have Meniere's disease in my right ear. So when I feel that there's a difference in my ability to hear in my right ear, I just pull up the sound match and run through it real quick. And if there's any changes in my hearing, it will make the adjustments for that. So between the app itself, as well as the hearing test, this is just a jump forward that I can't even explain. Uh, it is incredibly beneficial, and these work far better than the previous versions. With that said, I think that this is the direction that direct-to-consumer over-the-counter hearing aids need to be going, and Ergo is listening to the market. People want to be able to have a self-service experience with their hearing devices. They don't want to have to go through the expense and the driving back and forth to the audiologist to make adjustments and changes to their hearing aids all the time in order for them to work correctly. Now the technology is getting advanced enough that you can do it at home. And it's not something that's intimidating. It's very easy for even uh, the most technologically challenged people to do and it literally takes minutes. So you can buy a set of the Ergo 5 and charge them up and then put them in your ears and inside of about five minutes have them working for you uh, in regards to your hearing. Then you can go in and make fine tune adjustments to each individual program so that it is best suited for your hearing. Now, this makes for a huge, huge improvement in the sound technology and with the previous versions granted i've loved every pair of ergos i've had thus far but the difference uh, between the previous versions and this version and what levels they boost it is pretty significant so the ergo 5 gives you a much more natural hearing capability uh, also, feedback is not an issue. You have that with traditional hearing aids, and you've had that with the previous versions in specific environments. Uh, thus far with the Ergo 5, I haven't experienced anything uh, with regards to sound feedback, and that includes hugging people. That's kind of one of the dreaded things of wearing hearing aids. You go to hug somebody and you get feedback in the ear you know, that they're on, of the side that they're on. Uh, with the Ergo 5, I haven't experienced that. So with the sound match technology and what they've done to the hearing aids, it's incredible. Another thing that I have uh, discovered about them and I didn't know was that they will actually kind of shut down when sound reaches a certain decibel level. 
Now, this can be anything that could be construed as uh, potentially damaging to your hearing. Uh, and I discovered this in kind of a funny way. Uh, typically speaking, when I'm in the car with my wife and there's road noise and tire noise and, you know, HVAC and uh, stereo and she's talking to me, she tends to talk to me at an elevated level. And she has a very high-pitched voice. Uh, well, I was wearing the fives, and we were in the car, and she was getting excited about something and talking about it very loudly, and all of a sudden my right ear just kind of shut down, and then as she kind of calmed down, it came back up. And that's when I realized that these were doing the job of not only enhancing your ability to hear, but also protecting your hearing health at the same time. And I tested that in other environments with other sounds and experienced the same thing. And to me, that's something that's essential to hearing technology. It has to not only give you the ability to hear things better, but it has to be able to protect the hearing that you, that you have left. One of the things everybody's going to be concerned with is battery life. And I believe that Ergo has gone to a different supplier for their um, batteries. I think it was probably in due to the fact that they're so tiny. Uh, but they get, went to a different battery technology, and this is a smaller form factor. So that was a concern of mine when I saw how tiny they were. Now, I've been able to use them throughout the full day and not had any battery issues whatsoever. So they do last the stated time of about 16 hours. Uh, granted, I haven't worn them past that particular time frame. Um, I usually swap out in the evening to AirPods Pro uh, when it's close to bedtime so that I can uh, watch videos on my iPad. But the battery technology is very good and I can safely say that you will absolutely get a full day out of them. Okay, I've gone over the pros. Now there's a few cons. And the first one is really just me kind of being nitpicky. Uh, with technology moving to Qi charging or wireless charging, one of the hopes I would have had was that Ergo would have implemented Qi charging or wireless charging to these. Uh, I have a bunch of wireless chargers around. I have them in my car. I have them for travel. I have them in other areas of the house. And it would have been nice to be able to just drop them on one of the Qi chargers instead of having to plug them into the USB-C port uh, that is already on the cases. Now, USB-C is great, but I would prefer to have that wireless charging. The next thing is, and this is something that I don't see a resolution for, is hypersonic sound technology does not work in loud environments. So let's say you go to a restaurant and you want to change to the restaurant mode. You didn't do it before you walked into the restaurant and the restaurant's very loud. That hypersonic sound technology is not going to work and that leads you to having to do something else in order to change the programs. Now, previously with the ear goes, you would do just kind of a double tap like this, and what that would do is change the program mode. Well, obviously, I think a lot of people were turned off by that idea. Uh, they didn't want to sit there and smack their ear in public and make people think that they have some kind of disorder. I got used to it. It was no big deal to me. I would just kind of subtly do it and act like it was something completely natural. If anybody asked me about it, I would just simply tell them I was adjusting my, uh, my hearing aids and they would look at me a little bit funny until I pulled one out of my ear and then they were blown away by the size. But now you have another way and I haven't quite mastered it. And that is going like this and doing a double tap on your ear. I need to go back through and look at the videos and see perhaps what I'm doing wrong, but it's hit or miss uh, on that particular aspect of the Ergo 5. 
So that pretty much well wraps up the pros and cons. And I want to get into some final thoughts. Now, when I've gone through and tested these, I've done so uh, in multiple environments. I've done it at home, in the car, at restaurants, which is an important one for me. Uh, and then I even went to a bar where there was a gathering of people for a specific event. Now, typically in some type of a venue like a bar or a concert or something that has a lot of loud noise, I would be somewhat reclusive because I couldn't communicate with people. I couldn't understand what they were saying. Uh, with the Ergo 5s, I was actually shocked. I was able to have conversations with people that were across the table eight feet away. And to me, that's significant. That's something that I haven't been able to do in quite some time. I usually have to get fairly close to a person so I can pick up on what it is that they're saying. But being able to carry on conversations with multiple people and hear them well was a significant improvement in my hearing and my word recognition. So I can say with confidence that these are definitely worth buying just off of my initial impressions. I do plan on doing a long-term review of them, uh, but I really encourage you to check them out. Again, go to the link uh, right here. And also, you know, while you're there, fill out the form, get the dummy units so that you can see the size of them, put them in your ears and check out the comfort for yourself, as well as take the hearing test for them. Now, what do you guys think? Has anybody else gotten the Ergo 5s? Leave your uh, comments below and share your experience. Also, if you have questions about them or any of the other Ergo technologies, please leave that in the comments below as well. And on top of that, please give this video a like if you found it informative and don't forget to subscribe. And on that, I'll see you in the next video.